In this session, we're going to talk about Qubit commands and Qubit journal files. It's a, uh, one of the most useful features inside of Qubit in terms of managing your whole process, managing your history, setting up tests, and etc. Let me show you what I mean here. I'm just going to type a few commands at the, at the Qubit command prompt. Let's So, Qubit is command-driven, as you can see. Uh, the GUI is actually an application that lives on top of the Qubit application, and the, the GUI sends commands to Qubit, and then via a, uh, a programmer interface, reads data back and populates the GUI. But the point of that discussion is the fact that Qubit is command-driven. I can look here at the History tab and see the commands that I've typed. I can actually go in here and uh, highlight any part of any line, right click, play it again. I just made another brick. Um, I could do it again. And you can see that the command history continues to be populated. Now what's useful about that is the fact that we can take these commands and put them into what we call a journal file. The file extension in Qubit is .jou. We have uh, built into the GUI a journal file editor. I've noticed people uh, who use Qubit might use the editor. Uh, often they'll use their own external text editor, uh, VI or Emacs or some other text editor that they're, they're familiar with. But uh, I can put all these journal commands, all these commands into this journal file, save it, and then execute it anytime that I want. A, a common use of journal files is uh, to have a set of journal files that uh, sets up the geometry, uh, takes care of the defeaturing, takes care of the decomposition, puts it into a session that's repeatable because this journal file can be shared with others, can be replayed over and over. And then they may have a journal file to set up the meshing. So set the intervals and sizing, mesh schemes, uh, any refinement, any smoothing that needs to happen, even setting up for the analysis in terms of establishing um, boundary conditions and then exporting the mesh. And again, those are things that, are, um, that can be stored long term and then used over and over. Journal files become very useful when we have users who are trying to understand how to use Qubit better and they might get stuck and so we'll ask them to send us the journal file that they've created and then uh, we'll see where they, they are. We'll modify the journal file, send it back, and in that way be the users can be instructed on how best to use Qubit. The journal file, I can start, start typing anything I want in here. Uh, as if I was at the command line. In this particular case, that would actually um, reset the session build a brick, uh, set it to be tap meshed, and uh, go ahead and mesh it. I'll just actually execute it just to show that uh, I'm telling the truth. If I bring that editor back in, that's good. I can do this also. I can go to the File uh, menu, Import, and I can import from the Command tab, so anything that happens to be in the Command tab, or anything that's in the Script tab, which is our tab that we have Python commands in or anything in the History tab. I'll just grab the History tab for right now. And you can see, I can bring this in. It brings up another tab of, uh, of journal file. It's an actual, the file itself. Uh, if I were to save this or save this, they actually go into separate journal files. I can edit this all that I want, uh, modify it to, to, uh, to uh, my needs. And this is a typical usage, because I might be sitting at the command line uh, or using the GUI. Nevertheless, even the GUI sends commands, and so those commands get uh, journaled and they get saved in the History tab. But I, once I have something that I like, maybe I import the History tab and then edit out the things that I don't need, make modification to the lines that I do need, and then save those as a journal file. I can also do things like uh, comment a particular selection, uncomment those, uh, and that. Uh, fairly um, simple editor, but uh, a nice, powerful feature. As it turns out, uh, you can also uh, toggle between uh, Python mode and uh, Qubit mode. 
uh, simply by, by doing this. So we'll go ahead and change that back. I wanted to show one other thing in association with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and um, exit this. In the Tools, Options, Custom Tools, we have 10 instances of buttons that you can establish. And uh, we'll go ahead and set up button 1. We can give these buttons a tool tip. We can uh, find an image, a PNG file in your file system. If not, we'll use this default image. And this is just a very, very small journal editor. So I can go ahead and set up a session, uh, uh, a set of journal commands. And let me go ahead and do that. Very simple. I'll go ahead and enable this and then save it. And then the button shows up here in its own uh, toolbar and what happens when I click this is simply it executes those commands. These buttons are persistent they'll go between sessions uh, you can put any command in there um, that, that Qubit uses and, um, and use them over and over again.